In this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up the whole state of a Korg T-Series synth, like my Korg T2. The procedure is similar for other synths of this type and age. From time to time, it is necessary to save all patches and programs, not only when using all devices. Data always can get suddenly lost, especially older synths from the late 80s to the mid 90s have a memory backup coin cell battery. When this thing gets empty, all data is gone forever. Cork synths from around 1990, like the T series or the wave station, show the warning message error, battery low internal, when a low power is detected. Other devices may don't do so. Just for the case, you should change the battery every two or three years. These batteries are not expensive. But a backup can also be important when you are running out of memory space. Then you can save some patches as files on a computer. Many digital media synthesizers provide the possibility to send and receive SysX messages for this purpose. SysX means System Exclusive. These messages, consisting of some bytes, have a standardized MIDI data frame but are free in their content and can thus only be read by the same synth. But the messages can also be recorded to save them and play them back to the same device later. When you want to save a SysX message containing patches, settings or, like in my case, the whole system state on a computer, you need a MIDI connection. I use a USB MIDI cable to send data from the T2 to my computer. Be aware that very cheap USB MIDI converters can cause problems. After connecting the device, you can start MIDI OX. You are watching a screenshot of this program for some minutes now. MIDI OX is a free software for many MIDI purposes. You can download it from www.midiox.com. First, we have to make some settings. Go to Options and MIDI Devices. Here you can set the input and output MIDI devices of the keyboard. In this case, I use a MIDI Mate USB MIDI interface. Select the two correct entries and click on OK. Next, go to Options and MIDI Filter. This filter makes the software ignore some types of MIDI messages. This is important to avoid influences by messages which are unnecessarily sent or received. Be sure to filter some system real-time messages. Click on the button with the three dots right to the term System Real-Time. Another window opens. Select Timing Clock and Active Sensing. Click on OK and again on OK. Now we are going to record the SysX message from the synth. Go to View and SysX to open the SysX scratch pad. We have to start the transmission right after arming the recorder. The navigation to the correct menu page of the Korg T2 itself would also send MIDI messages, but these should not be recorded. That's why we first have to push the global button on the synth, choose the global data dump page with the page plus button and select the entry dump all data by pushing the down button. Now we can arm the recording by selecting SysX and receive manual dump. A new window will open and should show zero bytes received until you start the transmission. This is when we trigger the transmission. You press the G button on the cork and get a processing message on the display. 
simultaneously, the number of bytes received should grow. Wait until the display message disappears and the number stops to grow. This is when the transmission is complete and you can click on done. The received message in hex numbers will appear in the lower part of the window. Save the data by clicking display window and save as. Save the SysX file. This is your backup. To load the data back into your synth, do the following. Prepare the Cork T2 for the transmission. Make sure to set all protections to OFF in the global menu. Set the channel to A1 and EXCL or exclusive to ON. If this setting does not work, set MIDI overflow to ON. This is actually a function to chain a T-series synth and a Korg M1 together, but it sometimes helps to handle SysX. You should deactivate this after the transmission. Video X needs more configuration. Go to SysX and configure. In the new window, set the low level output buffer to 64 bytes and 2. Click on OK. Select File and send SysX file. Choose the file you generated before. A transmission should start with the progress bar. Simultaneously, the display should show the message Exclusive Dump Receiving. The message disappears after completion. Just for the case, you should restart the synth. When something does not work, the problem is almost always that SysX messages are somewhere filtered out, often by the MIDI interface. And sometimes a wrong MIDI device is selected in MIDI OX. This is all. Thanks for watching and have fun!